Bionic Gloves presents the Hands-On Golf Podcast, bringing anatomy and hand function to the forefront of glove design to improve comfort, fit, and performance. Bionic is a division of Hilrick and Bradsby Company, makers of Louisville Slugger bats and ball gloves. Bionic gloves are the only gloves designed by a leading orthopedic hand surgeon, Dr. Jim Kleinert. Welcome everyone to this edition of the Bonnie Gloves Hands-On Golf Podcast. My name is Chaz Rao and of course I am here with Eric Gilliland from the Audubon Country Club here in Louisville, Kentucky. Let's get right into this week's email and it comes in from Brian from Canada. Hey. hey. See, we know that slang here. And here, let's read his email. <laughs> he says, I love the podcast. I have a question about the rules. In a round I was playing last week and where the ground was quite soft, I hit a high sand wedge shot off a short par three that landed just short of the green on the fringe. When it landed, the ball plugged quite deep into the fringe where less than half the ball was above the ground. What are the rules in this situation? Is the ball considered unplayable and I ha or do I have to take a stroke penalty? Eric? Great question and one that we run across quite often. So we're gonna take you to the fringe of one of our holes and show you how to proceed from there. Great, well Brian, A from Canada, A, we're gonna send you a bionic glove just for your participation. It's really that easy, everyone. If you're out there and you're just checking out the podcast on YouTube or within iTunes, if you want to play with us, you know, learn, send us an email, podcast at bonnygloves.com, and if we use it, we'll send you a glove. Now, when you send the email, make sure you send a question, your full name, full mailing address, whether you're right or left-handed, and what size glove you wear. And if we use your email on a podcast, by gosh, A, we will send you this glove on us. No. No strings attached, just because this is our podcast that we work together to create for you. So now let's go join Eric on the course to see how we can figure um, out how to resolve this. Uh, is it a stroke penalty? It's it stuck in the ground. How are we gonna resolve it? Well, we're gonna find that out right now. Brian, as we discussed, here we are with this embedded ball situation that you described. The, the big thing to notice here is that this is in a closely mown area, not in the rough. And normally what I do is refer to my scorecard to see how to proceed in this situation. And reading right from our local rules here at Audubon, a ball embedded in its own pitch mark through the green may be lifted, cleaned, and dropped without penalty. Of course it has to be no closer to the hole when I make that drop. Now, the technical rule in golf is that uh, you would not get relief from an embedded ball. However, the local rule, which comes from Appendix 1 in the Rules of Golf, allows you to do that anywhere through the green, which is any closely mown area of the hole being played. So what I would do in this situation, if the local rule applies, is I would mark this golf ball with a tee or ball mark repair tool. I could then clean it and drop it no closer to the hole. And when dropping, I always drop at arm's length, no closer to the hole. I'm now in play, no penalty. So another wonderful example of how knowing the rules of golf can keep you saving a few strokes. We appreciate the question, Brian. If you have any more questions about the rules of golf or the embedded ball, please contact your local PGA professional.